I'm Corey Duke. Here are your top stories from Two Works For You. Firefighters were called to this abandoned home near 56th Street North in Peoria. When they arrived, first responders saw heavy flames and smoke at one end of the house. Now, thankfully, nobody was hurt, but it is under investigation. And there are some troubling signs in Norman as the University of Oklahoma is opening up about its finances. The school's chief financial officer is calling the situation very troubling. New OU President Jim Gallagher has slashed expenses since taking office, but the university is still expected to lose another $15 million this year unless changes are made to budget. Additional layoffs for faculty and staff are also expected to happen this year. And President Trump's nomination for attorney general will take a step closer to securing that position. The Senate Judiciary Committee is expected to vote on William Barr today. Once approved, his nomination will head to the Senate, where he's expected to be confirmed. The vote could come as early as next week. Barr would file a seat left vacant by Jeff Sessions, who was pushed out by president in November. Let's get a check of today's forecast from meteorologist Clint Boone. It has been a cold, blustery start to our day with some patches of ice on some of those roads. So you got to be careful as we head throughout the afternoon. Should see some sunshine, but staying chilly. Temperatures are only going to be in the 20s for us tomorrow morning. We're going to have temperatures drop off in the teens with wind chills tomorrow morning in the single digits tomorrow afternoon. I do think we see a little bit more of a warm up as uh, most areas upper 20s to middle 30s. Here's a check of your forecast heading in the weekend. Saturday will be the better day of the two mid 40s. A mix of sun and clouds. Chances for some showers for Sunday heading into Monday. Temperatures are not all that bad for Monday in the mid 50s and then 50s with lots of sunshine by next Tuesday and Wednesday. Thanks for tuning in to this digital news update. Keep checking back for updates throughout the day. I'm Corey Duke. Two works for you.